Now from here, maybe punch if you have room. If not, elbow and then trap and then knee non-stop like you did before. Very good until they are soft. A simulated knife attack and an actual method to protect yourself. That's what students here at Krav Maga experts on the Upper West Side are learning. So you'll see the guy here running. And this is the guy that is going to go crazy and unprovoked attack, start stabbing. <clears throat> see that the guy that is defending is doing actually a pretty good job. And I think since the beginning of the year, we started noticing an increase in the volume of calls because people were just afraid, like literally afraid of, of taking the subway or taking public transportation, even to come to class, which has never been the case before. Um, so there's a, definitely a freak out in the city. Emily Martichenko joined Krav Maga experts in March, a few weeks after she moved to New York from Florida and was interested in taking a self-defense class. The NYPD is recording increases in violent attacks compared to the year the pandemic hit. It's on the brain a lot, yeah, um, not going to lie. I've been, I've been safe in New York so far, um, but it's nice, it's nice just, you know, going to see friends, going on the subway, knowing that Every week I have maybe one more small tool um, in my back pocket. This year through Sunday saw a 19% increase in felony assaults compared to last year and a 30% increase from 2020. Misdemeanor assaults are also up nearly 28% compared to last year and up nearly 23% from 2020. Robberies have also increased this year compared to the same period in each of the last two years. Good job, Jeremy. Sahi Shamesh, the founder and CEO of Krav Maga Experts, said that since the pandemic, he is noticing more questions from clients about specific violent scenarios. People are just afraid to respond. They don't know how to react. Um, there's a, definitely more stress and anxiety in the air. And when people come here, they want to A, release that anxiety and know what to do. So I get a lot of questions of what to do when someone is approaching you or when you witness someone is being harassed, right? Those are like the two major questions I've been getting recently. Even longtime practitioners of Krav Maga, like Paul Mandel, are finding the lessons useful. Being prepared and staying alert is probably something that is just important for all of us to do. And coming here kind of improves that sense of self-awareness and, and situational awareness. The studio's owner told me that now women make up more than half of his clientele, which is rare for this industry. In Manhattan, Dan Rivoli, New York One.